Um, you know, when I became a personal trainer, one of the things I realized is I had a really good eye for detail. Um, not when it only came to identifying dysfunction in movements, but also when it came to identifying posture deviances. And it took me a while to realize kind of where I developed that skill. And, you know, I look back at my childhood and I remember my dad, who was an engineer, um, who pretty much taught himself everything, had my older brother and I start helping build models with him. We started with airplanes, um, and then we, he really got us into old cars, old classic muscle cars. And, you know, we would buy the models, and instead of just gluing it all and putting it all in the plastic to, together, he taught us how to paint each individual body part, taught us how to paint the body, how to use nice, good strokes on the, on the can not to let the paint run. Um, you know, taught us how to hang all the little parts of the engine and, and the suspension from, um, from strings and paint each one of those individually so it would match the real thing. And it was something we really got into and took pride in um, because we, if you're going to do something, you know, we weren't going to do it half assed We were going to do it to the detail that he would do it. And it turned out over the years of doing that, it just gave us, one, the concept of how to, how to paint things really clean, how to be very detailed on the painting aspect, but also when putting it together, putting together something that was complete, something that we put our heart into, we put a lot of effort into, because putting a model car together or model anything takes quite a bit of time and patience. So that was something that stuck with me through my whole life. It, it kind of always gave me a very sharp eye for detail on things. You know, something my older brother said is some people are broad stroke painters, some people are fine stroke painters. Broad stroke painters don't see the details. They just kind of look at the whole picture, but they can never see the, the fine lines. But others are a fine brush painter or fine detail painter. Those are people who look for the details, who look for the angles, who look for things to be perfect. And neither one is better than the other. It just depends on the person and what their objective, excuse me, objective is in life. Um, but I tell you what, and, and what I do for a living and what really helped me as a personal trainer was having a great eye for detail um, that helped me with not only identifying pattern flaws, but really seeing posture deviances and then being able to help people perfect those. So guys, hope that helps you out, gives you a little tip. You know, I, I, I'm so thankful my dad had me do that. I don't build cars. I don't do the model airplanes anymore. It's just not a hobby I'm into, though I love muscle cars. Um, but again, it's, you know, for you parents out there, it, it's a great skill to get your kids to learn, um, and, and it could be any type of model, anything that they're really into, because it teaches them how to have patience, which most kids don't have these days, um, but it also gives them pride on building something that you know they can show off when they're done, and set on a shelf, and it's almost like a trophy. So, hope that gives you a little insight on something that, you know, something of my past that helped me out, and maybe that would be something that could help you out, or help, maybe help your kids out, so... Hope you guys enjoy that tip. A little bit of uh, built from scratch. That's where I came from, guys. Have a good night.